the Apple A14 Bionic chip was manufactured on a 5 nanometer fabrication. This has allowed the chip to have approximately 15 billion transistors on a 1 cm square. In 2010, we witnessed a 45 nanometer A4 being used in the original iPad and then the iPhone 4. 2012 was a huge year for Apple Silicon with a transition to 32 nanometer fabrication. In September 2012, the A6 proved to be twice as fast and had double the graphics and power of the A5. It was 22% smaller and used less power despite the massive increase in speed. In October 2012, the A6X likewise doubled the GPU and CPU performance of the A5, which was used in the fourth generation of the iPad with its dual-core CPU and quad-core GPU along with quad-channel memory. In September 2013, the A7 doubled the CPU speed and GPU speed of the A6 with its Cyclone ARM CPU, which doubled the number of 64-bit registers and introduced 128-bit floating point registers along with the quick new power VR GX450 GPU. In October 2014, Apple Silicon made a quantum leap to 20 nanometer fabrication and bumped up its transistor counts to 3 billion. The CPU was 40% faster and the GPU had a whooping 2.5 times increase in effective speed. The A8X accomplished a massive feat with an 8 core GPU that increased the clock speed from 300 MHz to 450 MHz. In 2015, Apple made another massive leap forward with its 14 nanometer Samsung FinFET and 16 nanometer TSMC FinFET A9 SoC, improving efficiency while at the same time boosting CPU performance by 70% and GPU performance by 90% for the legendary launch of the iPhone 6S, which saw people camped out in front of Apple stores for days in advance. Likewise, the 16 nanometer TSMC A9X in the 2015 iPad Pro improved CPU performance by 80% over the A8X and doubled the GPU performance. By June 2017, Apple Silicon had hit 10 nanometer with the A10, which again had a 40% improvement in CPU GPU performance, while at the same time becoming more efficient and gaining a great deal of complexity. The A11 Bionic was was unleashed in September 2017 in the form of the iPhone 8 and the iPhone X, a gigantic leap forward in AI and facial recognition neural engine silicon. Notable improvements to the A12 Bionic are its 5 teraops neural engine on the A11, which was touted as the world's first mass market 7 nanometer chipset getting the jump on the Huawei Skiri 980 by a matter of weeks and launching a full 9 months ahead of the Ryzen 3000. The A14X version of the Bionic will be a 5 nanometer with 15 billion transistors crammed into a 1 cm square. This will be no mere big little 6 core SOC, but rather a formidable 12 core ARM monster with 8 high performance cores and 4 high efficiency cores. I would expect battery life and performance to be staggering. In conclusion, we've seen an awful lot of doubled performance specs from one generation to the next over the course of a decade. Since 2018, overheating Intel processors due to bad thermal design by Apple have been the bane of Apple MacBooks. The time has come for Apple to be in control of its own destiny by ensuring absolute product integrity, even if it ultimately means abandoning x86 entirely. As we all know, Tim Cook broke the news earlier June 2020 that a MacBook with Apple Silicon was going to be available. It may not be perfect yet, but it has been a long time coming. Let me know your experience so far on any of the Apple M series laptops. Kindly share them in the comment section below. Until my next video, peace out. Our Apple Silicon is more than just a fast CPU and GPU. We pack our chips with powerful custom technologies. M1 features our most advanced neural engine. With a 16-core design, it's capable of executing a massive 11 trillion operations per second. The entire M1 chip is designed to excel at machine learning, and tasks like video analysis, voice recognition, and image processing will have a level of performance never seen before on the Mac.
Finally, M1 integrates our latest generation secure enclave. It's faster than ever and brings best-in-class security to the Mac. So that's M1, our first SLC designed for the Mac.